Hey guys, it's Miguel here. Uh, today's talk is going to be about decisions and uh, most importantly, the decisions that you make that either sets you up for success or it brings you down, right? The decisions that helps you climb one step or makes you go down two steps and this is this is really hard this is probably one of the hardest things hardest hardest things that you can ever master that you can master because we all make decisions every single day right right and these decisions they dictate the way our lives are going to be for example this morning when when you wake up before you woke up you had a decision you know you probably set the alarm you had the decision to wake up as soon as the alarm goes off or hit the snooze button right that's the first decision and this decision it's really important even though many people overlook this decision just this simple task of deciding as soon as the alarm goes I'm gonna wake up no matter how I feel no matter what I'm thinking right you have to decide why well it's pretty simple when you set your alarm that's kind of like your purpose right your goal my goal is to wake up let's say 6 a.m. I set the alarm you know 6 a.m. or 5.58 5.50 right and then you don't want to get up why well it's pretty simple because your bed is really cozy you're really comfortable right you're so warm you don't want to get out of bed you want to keep sleeping you know that's the problem that's the first problem that you make if you decide to do something you have to do anything that's within your power to accomplish it and the reason why is because this decision especially the first decision of the day it's gonna set you up for the rest of the day I'll give you guys an example I set my alarm up to 2 7 a.m. this morning I usually wake up around 6 30 I was trying to wake up a little bit earlier but uh, you know I went to bed like around 12 so I wanted to at least get seven hours of sleep and uh, what happened was because I already had woken up at 6.30 previous days my body automatically woke up like around 6.20 just without without alarm clock or anything you know you just like boom you're like oh what time is it reach for my phone see the time 6.20 I'm like ah oh really <laughs> the day that I want to you know sleep half an hour more I wake up <laughs> like 40 minutes earlier and then get guess what I did I'm like okay the alarm's gonna go off at 7 I'm just gonna go back to sleep close your eyes and before I know it 7 or 5 you know I felt so groggy I didn't want to wake up <clears throat> and uh, in this case my body automatically made the decision for me to wake up a certain time right but I'm trying to find my body and you know that never works so what do you have to do is decide what you want to do and uh, no matter what 
you have to stick with that with that decision and then can you guys guess what happened after I was done I mean can you guys guess what happened after I was you know at work and uh, you know after I woke up you know I was feeling a little bit groggy a little bit tired so you know I just took a shower normal you know I made my bed made breakfast prepared some lunch you know everything was going good until you know I got I got to work and then it was coffee break right around 10 10, 10 a.m. so I went to have a coffee break and uh, my crew my crew members we went to Tim Hortons to get a you know like a sandwich or something and coffee of course and uh, I was like oh you know what uh, I should get something you know we, we can hold this way to you know to get something so guess what I did I ordered a uh, four cheese bagel with a sausage you know and then a coffee medium coffee just black right and then after I was like I ate the bagel you know just within like five minutes he was crazy and then I'm like drinking my coffee and I'm like huh this is like pretty blunt I need some some sugar so I'm like okay you know what I'm gonna buy a muffin I'm like okay whatever just a muffin so I went I bought a muffin and you know I ate it with the coffee no big deal and then I was counting my calories you know I was using my my fitness pal I'm just tracking my calories because I want to reach my fitness goals and then turns out like uh, a bagel has around 640 calories yeah that, that's right 640 640 calories that's just for the bagel right sausage four cheese bagel and then after I had the muffin and it has around 340 calories yeah that's right that was a thousand calories that I consume within 10-15 minutes it was nuts and I usually usually don't you know don't buy uh, you know muffins or breakfast sandwiches and things like that but what was different about today it was that I started with the wrong food in the morning instead of waking up earlier you know I let the time go by and uh, you know made the wrong decisions and then everything else just oh mosquitoes everything else just went south from there after I had lunch the lunch that I packed right it was it was nice uh, okay it was nice I got home I'm like oh what should I eat I'm like uh, you know what some chicken and uh, some rice I'm like okay and then after I'm like oh you know what I'll just do more rice so I serve more rice and before I know it I was overeating started watching some YouTube videos and uh, you know I just got distracted and I was just eating stressing eating or yeah I don't know but it wasn't good And then, you know, before you know it, I had a few slices of bread, probably around six, with peanut butter, you know, around three or four 
teaspoons, <laughs> you know, which that's like 500 calories, probably 600 calories, just right there in one sitting. And on top of that, I had some milk with the, some French vanilla coffee. I had two of them. That's just mainly sugar. And uh, so, what I'm trying to get across is that the, de the decisions that we make, you know, at every point in our lives, dictate what's going to happen next. For example, you know, like what happened with me this morning, because I didn't make the right decision, everything else just went south, you know, just escalated from there. And uh, on the positive side, uh, I went to the gym, even though I was like not feeling it because I had eaten too many carbs and fat, right? So it was, I was heavy, right? Fat really takes a little, a little bit longer to digest. So I'm still pretty full, you know, even though I ate like two, two, three hours ago. And uh, yeah, just, Try to make and think really carefully about what you want before acting upon the decision that you made. And uh, a really helpful tip for you guys is to sleep at least eight hours. And that, you know, probably, you probably have heard this before, you know, a million times, right? Because it's, it's pretty important. But at the end of the day, it's true. Like, your body needs adequate sleep. If you, if you don't provide your body with enough sleep, you know, a couple of things are going to go wrong. And one of them is your ability to make decisions, right? You know, like your willpower, it's like, you know, it's like a fuel, fuel of, you know, on a car, fuel of gas, right? It's pretty full once you wake up and throughout the day, you know, if you're using your willpower, it just keeps lowering down, lowering down, lowering down until, you know, eventually there is, you know, no more willpower within you. And that's how... You know, people usually make the wrong decisions, right? And uh, if you don't get a good sleep, you know, you don't start your willpower tank full. But, you know, it starts, you know, half or, you know, less than what it's supposed to be. And uh, in order for you to... to do things without using willpower you have to make those things become into a habit habit because once it's a habit you're doing it unconsciously right you just don't think about it you just do it right because you've done it so many times. So your brain actually gets adapted to that action or thing that you're doing. On the contrary, you can also develop bad habits, which again, diminish your willpower tank, fuel tank, you know, dramatically. So we have to be aware of what we're doing every day and uh, decide if he's helping with our conservation of willpower fuel 
or if it's, you know, like plucking, plucking a leak on the fuel tank, right? Just makes it, you know, drain faster. So yeah, this was my food for thought of the day. I hope it's useful to you guys. And again, I'm really sorry about uh, my accent, I guess. Lately, I've been having trouble intonating the words, like some words. I know the words, but then when it comes to pronunciation, I, you know, my tongue, you know, my mouth just sometimes gets confused. I don't know why I've been here over six years. I should be able to, you know, have it all, you know, together. But I think one of the reasons for that is that I haven't been, you know, speaking that much with other people. Well, you know, just the basics, right? I need to constantly engage in English, right? Because that's how your brain learns, right? You have to be fully emerged. Especially, like, nowadays, like, I'm not in university, so I don't talk to as many as many people as I did before. Uh, right now, what I do is, you know, I just work. I don't talk much, because just, you know, just really small things with my crew. And then you just come home, just watch some videos, just learn something, and uh, go to the gym. And then go to bed and then repeat, right? Sometimes, you know, some of my friends are doing something. They're going for wings or anything. So, you know, that's a great opportunity to me and, you know, go out, hang out and, you know, just practice my English and just catch up with friends. But lately it's been, you know, most of, most of my friends are either, you know, Calgary, Edmonton, you know, U.S. They just went back to their hometowns. You know, just to visit their family and uh, work to save money for university. In the meantime, I'm here, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm saying, you know, too much. I'm trying to not say that word. So I'm just going to think, think before I speak. And maybe that way I'll be able to better pronounce the words and uh, say the words that I want without hesitation because one of my goals of doing this blog you know this daily I did it again this daily video is because I want to improve my public pub, public speaking skills I want to be able to learn learn how to speak properly and uh, know what to say and how to structure it so people can listen to me and I can get my idea across and overall so I can communicate better with other people. Because that's that's one of the thi things that I like the most is the connection with other people, right? I like to meet new people. And of course, I need to communicate with them if I want to be able to connect, right? Just to learn more about them and that they can learn more about me. And just to make friends. And this is really helpful, doing the video every day. Because... It forces you to speak, you know, I did it, about a subject. And it's teaching your mind to, like a, like, a, like I said earlier, to organize your thoughts and getting your idea across. So thanks for listening to me. I know this video is a bit... A little bit long took longer than I usually do but I had a, a lot of things to to say about what happened today and you know about the decisions <laughs> I 
again. <laughs> and about the decisions that you make every day, that's really important. That's why I recommend you guys to read the book, The One Thing by Gary Keller. It's on my Instagram description on a link. Because essentially what the book says is that what's the one thing that you can focus on today, right now? So that by doing so, everything else becomes unnecessary, right? This is like the, the dominoes. This is like the giant dominoes that's going to drop the other dominoes, right? It's called like domino effect. They, they explain it better in the book. And I think that the decisions that we make every day, it's one of those pillars that you need to focus on. And if you focus on this one and you narrow it down and you make and l learn to make decisions every day, decisions that are gonna set you up for success, then your life is gonna, you know, dramatically change, right? Because we are, we are the, what's the saying? How does the saying goes? It's like a really cool saying, but I don't remember it's something about our habits or our life. Yeah, essentially our habits, you know, if you tell me your habits, I can tell you your future kind of thing, your future, because we're, you know, either if it's a good habit or a bad habit, that's essentially what you do every day. And if you do something every day, it's going to add up the law of, you know, again, the compounding effect, 1% every day. That's why you need to be better, a little bit better every day. You no, know, you don't have to be 20% more. Just focus on one thing and be a little bit better. Go to bed a little bit wiser, you know than the day before, you know, just 1%, 1%, 1%, and it all adds up, right? This is what's called the compounding effect. I think tomorrow I'm going to discuss the habits and how we can better control them and change them, right? Because you cannot care. Oh, I'm so rusty in this subject. The, if you try to get rid of your habit, you're most likely are going to fail because the key for habit destruction is habit uh, what's the word? Substitution. You have to find something, a different habit. You have to pick up so something else, a new habit, so <clears throat> so that you can get rid of the old habits, the bad habits. Right? You have to turn your bad habit. Let's say people have the habit of smoking. You have to find a new habit. That's going to replace the old habit of smoking. Because it just makes it so much so much easier. And I'll go into details of this tomorrow. So again, I just went for longer than I expected. Thanks again for listening. And, and I hope that your lives are going to be better every single day. And remember to go to bed wiser. And a little bit a little bit smarter than you were the day before. Remember, the law of compounding effect, okay? So with that said, I'll talk to you guys soon. <clears throat> I'll talk to I'll talk to you guys soon.